Hello everyone, it's my turn to read the story tonight and I've chosen a book called Forget Me Not Friendship Blossoms, written by Michael Broad and published by Hodder Children's Books. When the herd arrived at the watering hole, Forget Me Not stayed close to his mother. There are so many different animals, Mama, he whispered. How will I make friends? Just be yourself, she smiled. They'll soon see how wonderful you are. Forget me not splashed into the water and headed for the huge hippos. Will you be my friends? he asked. I like to wallow in the water too. You're much too small to wallow with us, huffed the hippos, and they sank beneath the surface. my friends he asked the lazy lizards who were sailing in the sun that looks like lots of fun you're much too big to play with us laughed the lizards and they swiftly sailed away forget me not approached the other young elephants feeling sure that he was used the right size be my friends he asked I'm not too big or too small to play ball you're too young to play with us they said and they turned their backs on the little elephant before he went to sleep that night forget me not huddled close to his mother no one wants to be my friend mama he sighed I must not be wonderful at all. You are my darling, she said. But friendships sometimes need time to blossom. What's blossom? asked Forget-me-not. Blossoms are special flowers that grow on trees, said his mother. They take time to bloom, but are always worth the wait. And she stroked his head until he was fast asleep. Forget-me-not didn't really understand what his mum meant about Blossom, but he remembered it had something to do with trees and time. So the next day, he waited below the bare branches in the wood, and he felt very much alone. Hello, I'm Cherry, said a voice above. What are you doing? Forget-me-not looked up to see a young giraffe peering down at him. I'm waiting for the blossom, he said. Me too, gasped Cherry. My mama says the blossoms are beautiful. My mama says that friendships blossom, says Forget-me-not. I don't see how flowers could possibly make a friendship, Cherry frowned. Forget-me-not and Cherry stood beneath different trees, each waiting for their own particular flowers to come. Do you want to play while we wait? asked Cherry. OK, Forget-me-not shrugged. As the days passed by, Forget-me-not and Cherry spent all of their time together. They played tag among the trees and chased butterflies around the trunks. Sometimes they simply sat in the shade and enjoyed each other's company. One day, the hippos and the lizards and the elephants approached them, gazing above their heads in amazement. Forget-me-not and Cherry were having so much fun together they hadn't noticed that the blossom had bloomed, filling the sky with bright pink flowers. Everyone wanted to play with the blossom, but the hippos were too big, and the lizards too lazy, and the forget-me-not, the young elephants couldn't reach their trunks up that high. Cherry smiled. She reached up and nudged a branch of blossom, showering Forget-me-not with tiny pink petals. 
he had become a very special friend. Forget-me-not invited the other animals to join in their fun and soon he had lots of friends. He did not mind at all if they were bigger or smaller or older than him. But Cherry was always his best friend and like his mama, she thought Forget-me-not was wonderful. You can wish upon Forget-me-not's blossom to remember to tell your friends how wonderful they are too.